it's going. All right, so the old truck is doing good. We just got a few little knickknacks. We're going to try and get caught up today while the weather's bad. So let's start with our shifter knob. The splitter is just strapped on the side because it won't thread on top of this extension that we put up here, which is fine and it works, but I'm learning to drive. And one less thing I can get on my mind is having to reach down this stick and hit my splitter. So we picked this up the other day and it should thread down on this. So we are going to get it changed over. You mean... Have we got any of the, uh, have we got any of that plastic, uh, plastic tubing to put down over our shifter and make it look right, or we just want to black tape this up right in here, make it blend in. I wish we had some rubber. I do split it. Yeah. Now, don't that come apart right there? Mm -mm. I see one little old screw in there, but it won't break it apart. Okay, we got no uh, kindly. See, you had them two. I had them two marked, and you don't know what you said that one did. Went to the very back. But anyway, as you can see, we have four wires on this particular shifter, but it won't. It ain't the right one. It's for a Spicer transmission. Basically, we're just going to have to play with this and figure out which what. holes do what, aren't we? Because it doesn't tell us on it. We might could go up there and... I tell you what let's do let's run up here in the garage hook my little air tank up and put it i'm pretty sure that's the intake and just let it tell us what holes blows where what would that tell you is my only where to put that? where to put these wires if highs here and lows here or over here over here or something it'll tell us where to put the wires it won't tell us which one's what but it'll tell us hey well it fell it'll tell us which two holes are exhaust are putting the air through and which which hole is actual the main hole from for their pressure because see i got two filters i got a filter here oh wait a minute that's what i was fixing to tell you what's that say bud it's got some writing on the side of it what Trying to figure out. Different colors. <laughs> Black and brown. That don't help us any, do it? High and low is going to be here. And the intake's going to be over here by itself. Well, still yet, I think we should just probably go test it. We will take my nozzle and put it to one of these holes and see which hole is blowing out right now. I'll put it in that one and see where the air is coming out. And that will tell me that that would be the, the high one. I'll turn it back over and see where the air is coming out and that'll tell me that'll be the low one. That one does something. Here's one don't do nothing. Yeah. It shouldn't screw, they should just, you should have to push them in and hold that thing in with a screwdriver or something and pull it out. Pull it. There you go. Now, if we can't get, see them's built into that. Unless we can get them out, then we don't have what we need to push that to this. Them's quick compass. They look to me like they have made in there, ain't they? Hey, them's got letters on them. Does any of them match this stuff here? Mm-hmm. E. There's E. 
And then I got an S, which is no S on that. That other one's a P, right? Mm -hmm. All I got is B and E. Don't you think it was built in it? Mm-hmm. Instead of screwed in it? Mm-hmm. Emma work in this, I believe. Things are too big. They're too big. We bought that for that other. Mm-hmm. We bought them to fit that other one, didn't we? So basically, they're not going to work nothing. Can't couple them or nothing. Okay, so we got the line and we'll take this with us. Was there anything else? Yeah, this. This line. Yes. And this is also right here. This is leaking. Had this rag tied around it just to try to soak up some of the oil. But we're going to take this off right now and see if we can figure out why it's leaking. Malachi's going to get something to take them screws out right there. Vice grip sitting over there or something. I don't know tell what's leaking. Is it leaking up? It leaks when I put it right there and it goes, Listen. Let's see if we can watch it. Down. You hear it? Where'd it blow out from? Over right here in this hole. Well, if that's where it's leaking from, it's, it's going to leak there. These are put in, right? That's not loose. That's not loose. And that's not loose. It's just supposed to exhaust air and not hydraulic. ain't supposed to do that. Back feeding through the pump. Somehow or another. All right, we're here in the shop. So the thing that we had bought is not the right splitter for our transmission. So we're gonna saw this one off and jerry-rig our knob on top of it to use this splitter.
break it? Yep. That's what held that pin in. I'm definitely putting that in the video. Will you touch that hot metal? <laughs> we can't win for losing, can we, buddy? Now you definitely broke it. You'd probably line it up for it if you put the spring in that. Hmm. Could run in there and get the round knob and then see how it sets on it. We could put something on the shaft piece of metal out there to hold that down. Be safe, wire goggles. It's always best if you cut a threaded rod, leave the bolt, the the uh, the nut on the on the threaded rod, and how do you get it cut in two? Bevel these edges off, and then screw your nut off of it. Makes it like a factory. You hold that thing going like that right there. And I'll just use my hand to lift over it. Hold it right up here. this off and it will fix your threads back Now since we tore it up, we're going to have to put us a piece of metal. Get us a piece of metal. Put it in here. 
here to here to hold this to hold this down So, uh, we just got it a little bit wider than the bolt's going to be. That's how big my threaded rod is. And I don't know if we've lost our metal marking. Device, so I'm just going to cut it. Might should have done it to the side. No. And can use this for a straight edge. it out.
We will not be so easily defeated. We have come out again this morning. We have re-emerged to continue work on the shifter. That's why when you work on mirrors, you just buy new boats. Well, yeah, we just went and got us a Hold it up to that piece of old hose. We're gonna put it around this right here to tighten it up on the on the bar. So let me get that done. Now it's just a matter of uh, getting them set up. This steering wheel, um, when you're going straight, the wheels are turned right now, so it looks right. This is the way it should be with the wheels straight, in other words. But right now, my wheels are turned over that way. So we're going to raise the hood, and if it's a spline and not a pin, we're going to see if we can adjust this steering wheel to where this is straight and not turning. So yeah, we're thinking we can probably just uh, take this nut off and slide this yoke up off this spline and 
turn it and set it back down our of course we'll i guess we'll find out when it's when we get it loosened up see if we can get it off we'll see all right so he done had the stinking boat took out before we turned the camera on but it came out right here and what we're going to try to do like i said is lift this up off of it spin this set it back down on it tighten it back up if it doesn't have us if it has a keyway then well you know that's not possible right here i don't know if you can see that or not but there is a divot right here that the bolt has to go through to work correctly so the only other option for fixing this is to take the u-joint out and spin it around and put it back together so i don't know if we want to tackle that today or not but it does have a
his engine brake, which I won't drive a truck without it. And he won't even turn it on. He don't miss holes. He hits them. Always turn your key off in these trucks before you shut the motor down. Or you will get out of the truck and leave that key on and it'll run out of air and the buzzer will come on and it'll buzz all night and the lights will be on, radio's running, fan blowing, and you'll run your battery dead for the next morning. Right. We're gonna go up and get us a load of crush or run and take it down to our buddy's house.
Raging Hawk. Should have went, but I did. He's gonna leave it neutral like Dad told him never to do and slam it in gear when he gets up here. Never do it. Don't never do that. Look at the time you're wasting here.
did make it back. So Malachi, how do you feel you did this time, old buddy? <laughs> I mean, just in your own words. Well, I'll put it like this. I didn't have to come far to come further than I was. Well, this is true. Practice makes perfect. So, uh, all that being said, I guess uh, from the time you spent behind the wheel, I guess you're probably doing about par for the course. <laughs> so that's our trip today. Uh, along with all the little videos we've uh, made with the new gear shifter, which is which we know, like, we like very, we like. very unique. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you won't find another one like no, this sir, one no. at all. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, the uniqueness And if in anybody itself, wants one of these, call us yeah, and give us let a call. us give well, us a notice. Well, it'll take us at least three hours and then yeah. time to ship it. Yeah, so we'll take care of that for you. And we had a strike out on the speedometer. Uh, obviously, there's something wrong with the wiring from uh, the transmission up to the dash here, so... We'll hunt that another day when it's not so nasty out. Um, but yeah, all in all, good it's day. Been a good day. See you, folks.